Well, with being in a tight playoff race in the Eastern Conference, the New Jersey Devils are going to need to get some help offensively and defensively and need players to step it up. Welcome back to Gillis TV. If you're new to the channel and like anything NHL related, MLB related, all the top stories, we have it here covered on the channel for you from trades, news, whatever it is. We got it covered. Thank you guys so much. As of late, we're up, I think, 30 subscribers in the last nine days. We're 12 away from our goal of 500. And then, of course, our ultimate goal of 1,000. Now, let's get into it. Let's start with Dougie Hamilton. He's going to be going on LTIR with that $9 million cap hit. When he's on there, the New Jersey Devils will have $9 million to spend to try and help upgrade the team. It is said to be that Dougie Hamilton will be back by the playoffs, which we all know has no salary cap because Vegas did it last year. So, what's next for the New Jersey Devils? Well, there is a defenseman from the Nashville Predators that could actually fill in Dougie Hamilton's shoes, cost only half of what Dougie Hamilton's making to help upgrade somewhere else. And his name's Tyson Berry. Watching him in Colorado, Toronto, Edmonton, and Nashville... Tyson Berry carries a $4.5 million cap hit. Can play first line power play, same as Dougie Hamilton. Can be that offensive threat too to help the offensive out. And comes at half of what Dougie Hamilton is. Now I'm saying Tyson Berry because he is in his final year of his three year deal. He signed with them into Oilers back in 2021. And then got traded for Matthias Ekholm last season. Tyson Berry is, you know, his defensive game isn't as great as Dougie Hamilton's, but can also be that power play guy and help the offense. And it is a trade that could actually benefit the New Jersey Devils, especially when you got a guy making $8.8 .8 million in Timo Meyer, who isn't doing that great this season, let's be real, and needs to step it up. We'll get to him in a minute. But Tyson Berry could be the cheap rental that you know the New Jersey Devils could use until playoffs until Dougie Hamilton gets back and use him for the playoffs now this year with the Nashville Predators I'm just going to pull up his stats right now so this year with the Nashville Predators 28 games played he has a goal and 10 assists and he has 12 penalty minutes as a minus seven like I said, defensively, we've seen it before. Tyson Berry is not the best defensive defenseman, but his offensive game is there and could help the Devils, even if it's a goal every few games that he's assisting on or scoring, that will help too. So now to Timo Meyer. Well, Timo Meyer, he's, he's struggling. He even said this to a reporter. I pulled up the quote here. I've... I'm hard on myself. I have high expectations. We have high expectations as a team. Definitely not happy with my play, but you've got to learn from it. Sometimes those situations can make you better as a player, make you stronger. When things aren't going your way, just go back to the basics. Focus on playing well defensively, playing hard, getting yourself into the game. Maybe a hit or a block shot. Maybe it will build your confidence in your play and it will lead up to the offensive production. There's no denying that Timo Meyer here, after reading that, he knows he's in a pickle. He knows he needs to step it up. But what better way to step it up is by doing those small things. Get in the game. If you're not scoring, make plays. It could just be a forecheck. You don't even need to touch the puck. Get on the forecheck. Someone else gets the puck. You guys score. Those small plays will build your confidence, will help you down the road when you need it most and Timo Meyer is a great player this is one of his worst production seasons of his career so there's hope that he turns around because um I'm trying to find out how many points he has he has 11 points in 23 games that is not great for Timo Meyer who just signed an eight year 80 or uh eight year deal last off season so there's that too, and that's where Tyson Berry could come in to play, get some offensive side to go there. So let me know in the comments what you think, and I'll catch you on the next one.